Hello and welcome back to our cyber security series. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the hackers and the cyber crimes, the unit two. You have probably heard here the term hacker before, but today we will break it down into the different types of hackers and what they do. We will also explore the various cyber attacks like the malware threats and how attackers gain the access to the systems. This will give you a clear understanding of the dangers that exist in the cyber space. So let's dive right into it. Okay. So at first the types of hackers. Okay. So hackers are the people who break the into systems, but not all hackers are bad. Okay. So there are three main types like the white hat hackers, black hat hacker and gray hat hackers and many more types. Okay. So white hat hackers are the ethical hackers who help to find the security and weakness to improve the system. Black hat hackers are the criminals who break into the system to steal or damage the data inside the system. Gray hat hackers fall somewhere in between as they hack for fun or personal gain without causing much harm. But their actions are still illegal. Understanding these types helps us to know who is behind the cyber attacks and how they operate. Okay. So while the term hacker is often used negatively, hackers can be either good or bad depending on their motives. However, crackers are always associated with the malicious client. Crackers break into the systems to cause the damage, steal the information or commit the illegal activities. They can destroy the data, the disable the security and exploit the software for their gain. Both hackers and crackers play different roles in cyber aspect, cyber space, but crackers are more often linked to illegal cyber activities. Okay. So now we will discuss about the cyber attacks and the vulnerabilities. Cyber attacks are attempts to exploit the weaknesses in a system to gain the access, the steal the information or cause a harm. So a vulnerability is a flaw or the weakness in a computer system that can be exploited by the hackers. So we will discuss the various types of cyber attacks, okay, like common cyber attacks like DDoS attacks okay so attackers often search for the vulnerabilities to break into the systems making it essential to keep the security measures okay so malware threats malware is a broader term for the malicious software design to harm exploit or take control of a system viruses trojans these are the Malware threats are like the ransomware we will discuss. This type of malware can cause serious damage to the personal or the business systems leading to the data loss or even financial theft. Okay. So now sniffing. Sniffing is a method used by hackers to capture and analyze the data being transmitted over a network. Like the packet sniffers are tools that capture the network traffic and hackers use them to steal the sensitive information like the password, credit card numbers and other private data. Sniffing is especially dangerous in unsecured public networks such as free Wi-Fi hotspot where the hackers can easily intercept the data. Using encryption and the secure connection can protect against the sniffing attacks. Okay. So now gaining access, okay. So hackers use the different techniques to gain the access to a system or network. One common method is through the brute force attack where the hackers repeatedly try to guess the password. Another method is exploiting the software vulnerabilities which are bugs or the weakness in the system that can be taken the advantage of. Once inside hackers can cause the damage steal the information and leave the backdoors to access the system again later okay here backdoors mean the pathway of the hackers okay escalating the privileges 
Once a hacker gains the access to the system, they often seek to scale their privilege, meaning they try to gain the higher level permission. For example, they might start with a normal user account but then attempt to gain the administrator rights, which gives them the more control over the system. With this elevated privileges, hacker can do more damage, install the malwares, okay, and also steal the sensitive data. Executing the applications. After gaining control of a system, hackers can run the malicious programs or applications. This could be installing a virus, launching a keylogger to capture everything a user types, or executing the ransom ransomware to log the users out of their own data. Once the hacker has control, they can manipulate the system and install more malware to maintain the access. Okay. And also the hiding files. Hackers often hide the malicious files they use to control a system. By using tools like root keys, they can hide the programs deep within the operating system. So they are hard to detect. These hidden files allow them to maintain the control over the system without the user knowing. Regular security scans or and updates help to detect these hidden threats. Okay. So covering tracks to avoid getting catch, hacker will cover their tracks by deleting the locks or using the encryption. They might also use the proxy servers or the VPNs, virtual private networks to hide their location, making it difficult also to trace their actions. Some hackers even remove the evidence of their presence completely making it almost impossible to know that an attack ever took place okay so now we will discuss the types of cyber attacks okay so at first the phishing okay so phishing is a social engineering attack okay where the attackers impersonate the legitimate organization or individuals to trick the victims into the into revealing sensitive information such as the password credit card numbers or the personal details it often happens through fake emails websites or messages that seem genuine but are designed to steal the data phishing can result in identify the theft financial loss or unauthorized access to the system okay example like you receive an email from a bank asking you to click a link and update your login credential but the link leads to a fake site designed to steal your password okay so now the denial of service or uh, and distributed denial of service attack a ddos attack aims to make a system service or network unavailable by overwhelming it with a flood of traffic okay so distributed denial of service attack is similar but uses a multiple system often hijacked device to launch the attack making it even more powerful this attack can cause website or server to crash making services temporarily unavailable for example a ddos attack targets an e-commerce website flooding it with so much traffic that legitimate users cannot accept access the site during the during a major sale okay so now man in the middle attack in the man in the middle attack the attacker secretly intercept and alters the communication between the two parties without them in knowing this allows an the attacker to steal the sensitive information such as the login credential the financial information or the messages so man in the middle attack attacks can occur through the insecure public Wi-Fi or the compromised network connection okay suppose an attacker on a public Wi-Fi network intercept the data between you and a website stealing your login credential before forwarding your request to the real website okay so now it's SQL injection SQL injection is a web-based attack where the hackers exploit the vulnerabilities in a website database Attackers insert the malicious SQL code into the input field like the search boxes. Okay, 
to gain the unauthorized access to the database. This can allow them to view, modify, or delete the sensitive data stored in the database. Okay. Suppose a hacker insert the malicious code into a login form of a website by bypass the authentication and access the user data stored in the database. Okay. Some other attacks like the insider threats, okay, the social engineering attacks, the zero day exploit, and also the credential stuffing, the ransomware attack, the brute force attack, the cross site scripting. So these are the important cyber security attacks, and you can learn from the online resources resources also. Okay. So that brings us to the end of our discussion on hackers and cyber crimes. Now you know the different types of hackers, how they gain access to the system and the kind of malware they use to cause the damage. So in our next video, we will be talking about the ethical hacking and the social engineering and how cyber security and professional use the hacking techniques for good. Make sure to like, subscribe and turn on notification to stay updated with our lessons. Stay safe online and I will see you 